low-scale model enthusiasts. Welcome to the Mile High Scale Modeler channel. Today I want to show you two new tool caddies I purchased along with a glue caddy. These were purchased directly through WJW Designs. This company can be found on Facebook. I have linked their information down in the description below. The first item is this glue caddy. WJW Designs has many colors to choose from and I wanted to have colors that match my YouTube channel. This is their dark red. The caddy is very good quality from an FDM 3D printer and the fitment is spot on. The caddy typically comes with just three spots for square Tamiya bottles, however I asked for a fourth slot for the Tamiya standard glue bottle. This caddy helps tremendously from spilling glue and keeping it all in a single location so you don't misplace it. Let's take a look at the tool caddies. We'll start with the one on the right. The bottom six slots are for sanding tools. Here you can see the many different types of sanding tools that can fit. We have some sanding sticks from Alpha Abrasives and some UMP products that we'll look at later in the video. The middle caddy has 16 spots for tools like tweezers, scribers, and hobby knives. You can also use pens, paintbrushes, and anything else that will fit. The top has five spots for cutters. Here I have my Timia sprue cutters, photo etch cutters by Zeron, and a typical plier I would use. Overall, this caddy has a lot of uses as shown and many that I haven't even thought of yet. The second caddy has the same design for the bottom sander slots and the 16 middle slots for items as I showed in the previous caddy. The top you can place CA glues, Mod Podge, Tamiya glues, tester glues, and many other products. There are these little indents on the sides of these caddies. This is so you can place magnets and create an organized workbench. When you buy products from WJW Designs, you can ask for magnets to be installed before shipment. Here you can see how easily the Tamiya glue bottle and Penaline accent color fit on the top of this caddy. Again, the quality here is top notch from what I can see, and it's very sturdy, very hard, and definitely look forward to using these for upcoming videos and seeing what else I can do with these. I just want to go over this caddy again, showing the sprue cutters, the photo etch, the pliers, the tweezers, all the products, the sanding sticks, and just how it all fits. These caddies, along with other products they provide on their Facebook page, are well priced. Please check them out in the description below. These are great modeling items to have on your workbench. For the second product review in this video, we have Ultimate Modeling Products. This company is UK based and has multiple Facebook groups, a website which can be found in the description below, and their own YouTube channel called the International Scale Modeler. So with this product review, I also got a mystery box. The mystery box consisted of all of these sanding sticks here that are outside of uh, the plastic material wrapping, and then also the 3D printed box that came with it. We're going to start off with our thinny sticks. These come in a few different grits, 180, 240, 400, 800, and 1200. The color on the sides of these thinny sticks determine what grit you're using. Here you can see that I was testing some of these thinny sticks. Uh, this side right here is 180 and the other side is 240. You can see that one side is dark black and the other side is faded black. Here's the thinny stick with 1200 grit. This thinny stick is a polisher and buffer, uh, very soft both sides, it helps get the fine scratches out of your bodies. This is the sanding sponge. This is very similar to Tamiya sanding pads. How this was engineered is remarkable given the design. I can sand many odd spots that a typical sander cannot access where you would have to use a typical sandpaper to get the access that you need. This is a pack of customizable sanding sheets. In this pack, you get one of each grit, 240, 400, 800, and 1200. These customizable sanding sheets are designed to enable the modeler to work on those near impossible to reach areas and odd gaps that any normal sander just can't get to. You simply just cut the desired sanding shape from the panel with sharp scissors. The back of these sanding sheets are color coordinated based upon the grit, so you can easily identify which grit you're using and which we need to cut to use for your next project. All these products I am showing from UMP can easily be cleaned using water and Dawn dish liquid. This will help keep the sanders to last longer. This is the sander multi-pack. In this pack you get sanding grits of 100, 180, 220, 240, 
400, 800, and 1200. These sanders are made to aid in natural movement of the hand and wrist when sanding by allowing a free arching motion instead of a forced and corrected straight motion. I did purchase another pack of these thinny sticks. These sticks come in 180, 240, 400, 800, and 1200. These sticks again are identified by the grit through the color on the side of these sticks. These thinny sticks are designed to enable the modeler to work on those hard to reach areas and seam lines that just a normal sander just can't get to. All products that I've shown that are in the packaging were ones that I bought individually. The ones that were out of packaging, including this 3D box here, were ones that came in the mystery box for $10. The one thing about UMP that I appreciate the most is that their products are actually made in the UK and the packaging states made in the UK, which is great. Thanks for watching the review on WJW Designs Tool Caddies, Glue Caddy, and also the UMP products along with the 3D printed item that I got from the mystery box. Please like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell.